Hunter in the house tonight. Please give some Bernie 2020 love to national campaign surrogate, Dr. Cornell West. Uh, brother Bernie, brother Bernie, brother Bernie. Let the word go forth here and now. We're on our way to the White House. And we are going to remove our fellow citizen, our neo-fascist gangster from the White House, now in Manchester. He's got to go. You got to go! You got to go! <laughs> but let us be clear, I don't, you don't say that in the spirit of hatred of a person. We hate injustice. We hate exploitation. We hate oppression. We hate domination. We hate contempt. We hate arrogance. We hate condescension. neo-fascist believes that the rule of big military and big money dividing people up by their color, by their class, by their sexual orientation, by their religion or non-religion to ensure we at each other's throats rather than confronting the elites at the top my brother Bernie Sanders says no And I come from a people, a black people, who have been hated chronically for 400 years and taught the world so much about love. Oh yeah. That's my tradition. That's John Coltrane's Love Supreme. That's Stevie Wonder's Love and the Need of Love. That's Nina Simone, Mississippi, goddamn. And justice is what love looks like in public, just like tenderness is what love feels like in private. And we gonna stay in solidarity together. I don't care what color you are. I don't care what your national identity is. I don't care what region you are. You a human being. We got a deep Jewish brother named Bernie Sanders who's bringing us together. It's a human thing. Do you feel it, New Hampshire? Do you feel it in your guts? Do you feel it in your soul? Do you want a better America? So we're going to keep alive the rich legacy of Martin Luther King Jr. and Fannie Lou Hamer and Ella Baker and Dorsey Day, our vanilla sister on the Catholic side of town. And Cesar Chavez, let us never forget our indigenous peoples. And Grace Boggs and Harvey Milk, that's the best of America. That's the best of America. And let us be very clear, we're living at a moment where the very future of a democracy is at stake. So this is no ordinary campaign. This is a movement that has a spiritual, and for me as a Christian brother, a, a, a spiritual and moral coming together. Strong coming together. It's part of the genius of Hebrew scripture. I don't care if you're Muslim. I don't care if you're Christian. I don't care if you're Jewish. I don't care if you're Buddhist, Hindu. It says the spreading of hesed, the spreading of that steadfast love to the orphan, the widow, the fatherless, the motherless, the oppressed, the occupied, the dominated. 
it's rooted in the best of America, but it looks to the world and it says a precious baby in Ethiopia, in Guatemala, it could be in Tel Aviv or Gaza, it could be in Argentina, it could be in New Hampshire, they all have the same value, they all have the same significance. That's a moral and a spiritual dimension. And I thank God my dear brother Bernie Sanders has got the integrity, the courage, the vision to bring us together and say, not a milk toast neoliberal running against the gangster. We got to have moral and spiritual power behind our movement. Are we going to stay together? Are we going to fight together? Are we going to go all the way together behind Bernie Sanders? Let's do it, New Hampshire! Stay strong.